foot just kind of squeeze in, or maybe you might ask your friends to move down just a little bit. And as I quickly scan the rest of the grandstand, that pretty much does it. So as soon as you folks come in and fill it up here, you won't be allowed to stand on the fence. You children in the front, against that fence, you're going to have to move. All the children in the front there, please stand back. Nobody will be allowed in the fence. The folks in the front row, they got here an hour ago to sit up front, and we're not going to let anybody stand in front of them tonight, are we, folks? That's right. They had supper early. They came up here to see the show, and they sat in that front row, and no way are we going to let anybody stand in front of them. So it looks like we're set and ready. So ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, on behalf of Beech Nut Chewing Tobacco, we proudly present the 1987 edition of Hollywood Stunt World as the fleet of vehicles move down in front of the grandstand here this evening in that familiar fashion, style, and form. And on the mast of the lead truck, flies the grand flag of our great United States of America. Old glory blowing in the breeze out here tonight in Ashland, Ohio. What a great deed and night indeed for the Hollywood Stunt World Show. The beautiful fleet of Dodge, Dakotas, and Ram 50s and Beach Nuts trucks pass in front of the grandstand here tonight. And here's the beautiful fleet of vehicles from Pew Dodge. Leading off in the 1987 Fifth Avenue, we have Dave Pearson and a beautiful automobile out here tonight. And of course, all these vehicles are available across the street. The 87 Ram Charger. Steve Pugh is in there. Wave to him, Steve. Give him a nice wave. That's Steve, folks. Yeah, he's in the, the Ram Charger out there tonight. And here's one, an 88 New Yorker, Dave Pearson Sr. That's the 88, the brand new body style from Chrysler. You talk about a leader in engineering and front wheel drive. That's so new, they haven't even cleaned the white walls yet. They must have got that right off the truck out there today. Here's a beautiful new 88. 87 Dakota, Jamie Kaufman. Uh, he's out there with that, passing in a view. I believe those are Jamie's children in the back. Here's a 1988 Caravan, Mr. and Mrs. Majors. Wave, Mrs. Majors. Don't blush. Yeah, look at the folks out there. That's right. Hey, look at this beauty out here. The 1987 Shelby. Jack Howard's out there driving that, I guess, with the Mrs. and their little girl in the front seat. That's a gorgeous automobile, I'm telling you. Here comes one now, the 1987 Conquest. Ooh, that's a beauty. That turbo will really go. Pete Lentz is driving that tonight. Hey, Pete, you can leave that. We'll pick it on the car carrier to the next town. Yeah. Hear him revving it up there a little bit. Here's a 1987 LeBaron. Bill Finley is driving that out here tonight. Wave to him, Bill. Stick your hand. There he goes. That's Bill, folks. Yeah, what a beautiful fleet of cars. Here's a 1987 conversion van. We have Dick Pugh and Don Cooper. And they're the owners of this great dealership across the street. Let's give them a nice round of applause out here tonight. Yes, sir, sir, the fine folks from Dodge. They still wear the big white hats. Ashland Garage and Salvage, they're here tonight. Transmissions working and everything. <laughs> Yeah, they got the trucks out there, and you're going to be seeing them later on in this evening's show. But of course, ladies and gentlemen, the, the fine folks from uh, across the street there, Pew Dodge, they've got all the quality Dodge automobiles, and we had our fleet of Dakotas in there, and they got them all cleaned up and tuned up for this evening's show. They'll be parking the whole fleet of automobiles down on the inside area. Phil Slaggard, our Vance man down there, and he's lining all those beautiful automobiles up from Pew Dodge so you can view them immediately after this evening's show. Here's a Dodge you can't buy across the street. Oh, no. It's the Beach Nut Monster Beast. $100,000 of smashing, crashing, crushing machinery out here tonight. Oh, yeah. What a beauty indeed we have out there tonight. The Beach Nut Monster Beast, and indeed, you're going to be seeing that in the fitting finale, the breathtaking conclusion of this evening's performance. But we'll be parking the Beach Nut Beast on the infield area, along with all the beautiful cars and trucks from Pew Dodge and the Beach Nut trucks, the jump trucks. They'll be all in the infield area where a great deal of our equipment is kept. Where at this point in the show, our drivers will be selecting the, some of the vehicles that they will be utilizing during the opening proportions of this evening performance. They move to the high side of the racetrack in that familiar Le Mans starting fashion and style, where at this point in the show, they'll back them to the low side of the speedway. 
They'll stop them right there as our drivers will step from these vehicles to the firmness of the racetrack. And at this point of the show, I would like to ask each and every one of you to please rise in true patriotic style for the playing of our national anthem for Americans all. <laughs> Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, one and all. And now, to officially commence this evening's activities, drivers on the racetrack, if you are set and ready, then lots of jolly good luck to each and every one of you, and it's on with the show. Sending one, two, three, and four vehicles to the top of the racetrack. It's race night, action night, thrill night, high-speed adventure night tonight at your Ashland County Fair. As right now, they're going to be taking the fleet of stock production, quality, ram-tough Dodge automobiles to the top of the racetrack. And when they return, they're going to be getting a feel of the racetrack. They're going to be making a practice lap over the ramp elevations here tonight, putting the ram-tough Dodges through their paces here this evening, up and over ramp elevations, flying on ramp elevation number two as they take them into the top of the turn. We put more wear and tear. I of these stock quality Dakotas out here in one performance than you would put on a brand new Ram Tough Dodge truck from Pew Dodge at an entire lifetime of that vehicle. Quality competition of Cooper tires up up underneath tonight as they take them up and over the ramp elevation. Stock Coopers on each and every piece of equipment utilized by Hollywood Stunt World. Well, at this point of the show, I'd like to take this opportunity to introduce to you each and every one of these outstanding drivers that'll be thoroughly entertaining you throughout out this evening's show. Our first driver is under power now. She is the number one female stunt driver in America today. 26 years behind the wheels of championship automobiles from the Bluegrass State from Ashland, Kentucky. What do you say to Miss Pat Jackson? Pat Jackson from Ashland, Kentucky. Well, Pat backs away and still they move from the top of the racetrack down. This next gentleman is a 35-year veteran. He hails from the great state of Pennsylvania, from its capital city of Harrisburg. It's the legendary Mr. Peter Gross is here tonight. Peter Gross from Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. Well, Peter backs away. This next gentleman is under power now. Young in age, but old in experience. He'll be coming out of the top of the turn. He is the double for John Schneider in the Dukes of Hazard in a motorcycle routine. Welcome from Decatur, Indiana, to Mr. Johnny Anderson right there. Johnny Anderson from Decatur, Indiana. Well, Johnny backs away, and last but not least, out of the top of the turn. One of the fastest rising stuntmen in America today. Watch him as he steps that six foot four frame out of that Dodge Dakota, all the way from Austin, Texas. What do you say? Meet Mr. Donnie Brenneman. Donnie Brenneman from Austin, Texas. Good evening, Donnie. What's the matter, Donnie? Something loose in the Dakota. Well, Mount of Pew's mechanics are here tonight. Pew, you want Pew Dodge to come over? They can help us. You found something real loose. Oh, my God. Cookie's here tonight. I thought we left you in Rocky Mount, North Carolina. Well, welcome to Ashland, Ohio. Say hi to Cookie, everybody. Oh, Cookie, tonight is your night. Oh, I must commend you, sir. 
You do look so fastidious this evening in your new gift of garb. No, I didn't say garbage, I meant garb. You have a flair for fashion. You look so natally attired this evening. Yes, oh, th it looks we have the same tailor. Yes, and who would that be? Salvation Army. Well, mine comes from a different part of town, but that's beside the point. By the way, do we have your permission to start this evening's show? Let them roll, he says. Well, that's not exactly what they want to do with the Dakotas. But anyway, Cookie, would you kindly walk up to that ramp elevation? We've kindly put a broom there for you. We want you to sweep off the ramp structures for the drivers. Some dust and dirt did accumulate during the opening portions of the show. That's right, but you must hurry up, Cookie. Sweep a little bit faster because the trucks are going to be driving right where you're standing. They're moving in teams of two, Cookie. Cookie, team number one is under power. No, they're not coming from that way. They're coming from this way. Turn around. Look out, because here they are. They take them on the elevation up, and away they go. Rocketing on ramp elevation number two. Here comes team number two under power now. Johnny Anderson and Donnie Brenneman on the lumber. They take it up and away, down and go, and pounding to the top of the turn tonight. Man, are they moving out there this evening. What happened, Cookie? They ran over your big toe. Well, tonight's your lucky night. Ashland Garage and Salvage has a big tow truck out back. Here they come as they cross the metal bumpers. And between ramp elevation number one, once between ramp elevation number two, and look out for the third one out there tonight. Here comes team number two of Donnie Betterman and Johnny Anderson. They cross them, zigzag on, Chris cross the metal bumpers out there tonight. And that third one, and they take them hard, heavy, and wild out there this evening. Whoop! Are they ripping it up here tonight? What are you doing, Cookie? You're practicing, and what are you practicing? You want to be a hell driver. We are going to be a dead duck because they're boring it out on the low side of the lumber out here tonight. Pat Jackson and Pedagos say they got up over, down and go. Flying on ramp elevation number two. Donnie Brenneman and Johnny Anderson take on the low side of the lumber. Look at the undercarriage of those Dodge trucks out there tonight as they fly on ramp elevation number two out there this evening. Man, are they tearing up this racetrack tonight. Cookie, what are you doing? You're showing off. Why, why would you be doing that? Might be a big agent out there. Give you a paying job, huh? You got to line them up. Trucks are a little crooked. The drivers are a little crooked. They're not going to stand for that as they take them to the high side of the fence and off to the top of the turn once again. Here comes our second team out here tonight of Johnny Anderson and Donnie Brenneman to the low side of ramp elevation. They go up the center section of the racetrack to the high side of the lumber and scatter down hard, high, and heavy once again out there this evening. It's motor madness. It's a traffic jam on the roll with a beach nut precision driving team. But look out now. Here they come side by side. Side. Fender to Fender, Cooper Tire to Cooper Tire. They take them closer on ramp elevation one. It's up and down. And a unit and flying on ramp elevation number two. Here comes our second team out here, Johnny and Donnie. They tighten it up, 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 and away. Down and rocketing, and they take it to the top of the turn. And Cookie, what are you doing trying to get a ride? You look like Big Bird. Your legs are ugly. Pull your pants legs down. They'll never stop for that. Here they come as they cross them once again. One to the high, one to the low. A crossover between ramp elevation number one, between one and two. And once again, a dangerous third crossover out here tonight. Here comes Donnie Anderson and Donnie Brenneman. Here they cross them between one on the bumpers on number two. Look out for that third crossover out there tonight as they take it hard and heavy to the top of the turn. Well, you've seen the crossovers on the flat surface of the racetrack track this time it's crossovers again but while negotiating ramp structures while driving on but two wheels while holding and maintaining that most unorthodox position they're gonna attempt the crossovers one more time they take them on the lumber down closing underneath on the second one they go here comes Donnie Brenneman and Johnny Anderson they take them underneath too close Donnie back off Johnny take it high on the third one and he takes it underneath just in the nick of time out here tonight well after that that grueling ordeal of man and machine. I'm going to be bringing them back. They're going to park both teams of two back separately here tonight. Here comes team number one. What you're seeing here is over 60 years of experience behind the wheels. Let's welcome back Pat Jackson and Peter Groves so they can hear you now.
Pat Jackson and Peter Gross. A dynamic duo of outstanding drivers here tonight. Well, they'll back away, and our next team is under power. But remember, this is your part of the show. Remember what I told you earlier. If you want to see them pour it on, if you want to see them go all the way, it's your enthusiasm up there that'll make them go wild on here. So let's welcome them back with a nice little hello. Welcome back for Johnny Anderson and Donnie Brenneman, and they can hear you now. Oh, they love that applause, and I can tell you right now that they're going to be literally ripping up this racetrack for you out here tonight. But right now, we've got one for you. We're going to be calling Pat Jackson in the number 21 to bring her 1987 Beach Nut Dodge to go to the racetrack. As we're going to be calling upon a young gentleman who comes to us all the way from Chicago, Illinois. His name is Jim Eiding, and Jim's going to be attempting the very dangerous, the very suicidal slide for life out here tonight. He'll be chauffeured to the top of the racetrack by none other than Pat Jackson, and when she returns, young Jim Eiding will leap from the rear of that speeding Dodge truck to sit down on the racetrack to go sliding through flame and fire to what we certainly hope will be a quick, safe stop. Now you'll notice that he's wearing the Bell safety helmet, the sliding pad, and a pair of gloves for protection tonight as the Reese hitch has been applied to the back bumper. Now, Cookie, I want you to pay very, very close attention to this next event in this evening's show because, Cookie, if, if it is successful, sir, yes, we might ask you to try it. No problem. We'll give him a friendly pat on the helmet and send him on his way. I got the wrong end. I said the helmet. But anyway, young Jim Eiding will go to the top of the racetrack here tonight in preparation for returning to a flaming, fiery inferno, the slide for life. But right now, Donnie Brenneman standing by, applying gallons and gallons of Shell SU-2000 gasoline to the racetrack. Plenty of Shell being applied. And within a split second of timing, this will become a raging inferno of fire for our young dead of a lot here tonight. The torch stands in a readiness. The truck is under power to the top of turn number four. The signal is given and flames leap high. Jim, it's time for you to get down, down, down and slide all the way to the top. What do you say to Jim Eiding from Chicago, Illinois in the slide for life tonight? Cookie, what are you babbling about? Jim did not go up in smoke. He's not up there. He didn't go down in flames either. He's right over here. Wave to him. Jim had you worried. How come? You thought he went to a place like Mansfield? Yeah. <laughs> Well, Jim's nice and safe. He's right over here taking off his safety equipment, which is something that you should be concerned about later on in the show. Well, right now, Cookie, old oh buddy, old oh pal of mine, what exactly did you think of the slide for life out there tonight? Wait a minute. It's a bunch of phony baloney, 86, throw it out of the show. Are you trying to suggest to all these folks here this evening in Ashland, Ohio, that you might have done a better job any old day of the week? You've been ejected from drinking establishments at greater speed? Them too, huh? <laughs> Don't even drink. Well, you know what, Cookie? Tonight, these folks might, no, I said they might, just want to make you prove that statement, and I'm going to ask him right now, how would you like to see Cookie do the slide for life? <laughs> Cookie, I thought you told me that everybody in Ashland, Ohio was your friend. Not anymore, they're not? Yeah, heck with them, right? Okay, you want to be a dare demon, sir. You want to do the slide for life. You think you're so smart. But you know what, sir? You can't even get the first event underway because you've got a problem already. Yes, your beach nut sneakers are untied. Tie them. Okay. Not the beach nut green, the beach nut red, you idiot. Okay. Pat, bring the Dakota down and pick him up on the back bumper. Bring it down, Pat. <coughs> 
Nice and easy. Pat, slow it down. Pat, slow the truck down. Wait a minute. <clears throat> what? Yes, I did see that. You want me to handle this? Hey, Pat, I thought I told you to pick him up on the back bumper, not the front bumper. Don't worry about a thing. I just straightened her out. Yeah, she almost straightened you out. Okay. What are you doing? You want the truck back there. Well, sir, that's a 1987 Dodge Dakota pickup, like Pew Dodge has. They've got a whole fleet of them. The Dodge trucks do many things, sir, but they don't listen and they don't speak. So if you want the Dodge truck back, you have to pull it back. Mr. Eiding had a safety rope in the back. Grab the safety rope, pull the truck all the way back. There you go. Simple Simon going to the fair. But be very careful, Cookie, because in one minute I'm going to say, halt, the truck will stop. <laughs> What's the big, look at yourself, look at yourself. You're covered with it. I forgot to tell you, we had harness racing out here today. We didn't have enough time to clean up. You just did. You met the grand champion. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Take your jacket off. Put it in a safe place, as Jim Eiding has some safety equipment for you here tonight. Wait a minute. What'd you put the jacket over his head for? I didn't say put it on a dirty face. I said put it in a safe place. Okay, now that's safety equipment, and what's so funny? Your old lady wears one of those. Cookie, that's a piece of safety equipment. I'm not going to repeat that. That's a sliding bell. Wait a minute, let me think. Okay, I'm going to help you now. So first of all, I must lower my vocabulary to meet your medial peon mind here this evening. So listen, take the sliding pad and put it on the part of your body that's coming off first. No, 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 it goes behind you. You don't need that. Okay, well, Mr. Eiding has the Bell safety helmet. Take the Bell helmet and put the bell helmet where your brains are. No, 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 you've got the wrong end again. You're all mixed up. You're scorning the use of the safety equipment. Okay, we'll get on the back. Oh, by the way, do you have any gas? No, I mean gasoline. Give them five. 500 gallons of shell, SU2. What's the matter? No, we're not having a ham roast. We're going to bake a cookie. OK, we'll give them five gallons of shell gasoline. Five itty bitty drops. You're not a daredevil. You're a dirty dog. Oh. Pat, take the truck up. Don't spare anything. Take them to the top of the racetrack. Oh, wait a minute, Pat. Stop the truck. Hold it just a minute. Well, what's your problem? She broke your nose. Does it hurt? Oh, OK. Oh, wait a minute. Cookie, look at your nose. Look at your nose, Cookie. Look at it. Cookie, is that blood? No, it's not. You're not funny. Get on the back of that truck. OK, Pat, take him away and don't spare the horses. And there he goes. Cha, cha, cha. <laughs> no sliding pad, no helmet, no gloves, and no brains. OK, Donnie, five drops of shell. That's it, five itty bitty drops. It's his first time. That's it, Donnie, five drops. What are you talking about, guys? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. What in the world are you doing? All he's going to have to do is sit down, let go of the ropes, 
and barbecue. Wait a minute. Flag that truck down. Flag that truck down, guys. Somebody get with the show. Flag it down. Something's wrong. Oh, my God. You did it. You didn't do it. You dropped the wrong ropes. You dropped the ropes holding up your pants. And you're exposed out there. You're coming apart at the seams. You're absolutely indecent. There are children in the audience. It's being televised tonight. Oh, what's the matter? You lost your hat. You think your hat's in the fire. Let me inform you, your hat is not in the fire. No. Look at the lady in the front row in the grandstand. No, she doesn't have your hat. Look down the front of your pants. We know that's a joke. I mean your hat. What was it doing down there? You thought you had a hat rack down there. You're... Let's have a nice round for Cookie and get him out of here, I'm telling you. Get out of here, go away, you're stirring up trouble again. What are you doing out on that racetrack? Get out of there. Well, right now, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, as we said earlier in tonight's performance, Hollywood Stunt World for 1987 is celebrating the 100th anniversary year of Hollywood. And in doing so, we're going to be recreating some stunts that you've seen on television and in motion pictures. And right now, we're going to take you all the way back to 1939 in the filming of a motion picture by the name of Stagecoach, where at that time, they used to run over cowboys and Indians with a stagecoach. But tonight, we're going to do it a little bit different. We've called upon our stuntman, Mr. John McGee from Las Vegas, Nevada, and we're going to run over the top of John with a Dodge Dakota. Well, I'm not going to sit here and insult your intelligence by telling you that John is going to support the entire weight of that Dodge truck tonight, because this evening we're going to give you a scientific lesson, a physics lesson, a lesson in what is known as an inclined plane. Now, Cookie, not that type of a claim, but listen carefully and you might be able to understand. What we're going to do, we're going to line the Cooper Discoverer tire on the narrow red line. By doing that when the truck is rolling, it's going to divide the weight of the truck by four. By the truck moving at a specific speed and the ramp elevation being at a certain angle, it's going to divide the weight of the truck by 50% once again. But John, pushing up on the ramp elevation at the same time the truck is running over at that specific speed, he won't be supporting any more than his entire body weight tonight. Got it, Cookie? Okay. So let's watch carefully as we reconstruct the runover from 1939. And that's the way they did it in Hollywood. Let's have a nice round of applause for John McGee from Las Vegas, Nevada, in the runover here this evening. All right, right John. John. Right now, Cookie, you better get out of the racetrack because Pat Jackson's fired up the number 21. Pete Gross has fired up that number nine. And Donnie Brenneman has moved to his piece of equipment out here tonight as we're going to be moving the beautiful fleet of 1987 Beach Nut Dodge Dakotas to the high side of the racetrack. Cook, Cookie, get out of there, get out. You can't set up there. You had to pay a front gate admission to get into the fair. Not only don't you have any money, you don't have any brains. Get over here and watch it from a safe place. Cookie, get over here. We're ready to take the trucks to the high side of the racetrack. Over here. Wait a minute, Donnie, Donnie's getting in the truck. Wait a minute, Pat, stop the show. Hold it just a minute. We've got a runaway show out here tonight. And old Cookie is stuck in the number seven vehicle of Donnie Brenneman. I think Cookie thinks he's in an Ashland taxi cab. But boy, do we have a surprise for him tonight. Because right now, these drivers are about to give you their interpretation of the title of this exhibition, which is Precision Stunt Driving is performed by the Beach Nut Precision Driving Team. No longer in teams of two, but now in one fast rolling unit of three. As they take them out of the top of turn number four, heading for ramp elevation number one, they hold the pattern now. It's up in the air, down and away. 
away. One, two, three, and down, and pounding, and sideways in the top of the turn out there tonight. It's Motor Mayhem out here this evening with the Beach Nut Precision Driving Team. But right now, when they return, they're going to be attempting crossovers. One to the high, two to the low. A crossover directly in front of ramp elevation number one, alternate crossovers between ramp structures one and two, and a third crossover at the top of the turn. Here they come out of the top. Pat Jackson, Donnie Bredeman, and Peter Gross. They cross them out of bumpers and slide them up on an eighth. Here they go between ramp elevation one and two once again. Look out for that dangerous third crossover out there tonight as they take it hard, heavy, and wild out there this evening. Oh, yes. It's the Dodge truck proving grounds out here tonight with the Beach Nut Precision Driving Team. We put more wear and tear on these stock production 1987 Dakotas, just like the ones that you can buy from Bob Pugh Dodge, and you'd put in an entire life of a Dodge Dakota. Here they come out of the top right now. They take a bumper to bumper on the low side, picking up five miles per hour. Look out, it's up over, down and away. Flying out of bumpers out there tonight as they take them crazy to the top of the turn. Man, I'm telling you that Peter Gross is fanning this racetrack on that fence out there tonight. Well, this time when they return, they're going to be placing the trucks once again in that bumper-to-bumper -bumper position. Like a giant snake, they're going to come winding and weaving out of the top of the turn to the low side of the ramp elevation, rapidly through the center section of the racetrack up to the high side of the turn tonight. Pat Jackson, Donnie Brenneman, and Peter Gross gives the signal go. Here they come out of the top right now, locking those Dakotas together. The Beach Nut team, they take them up through like a winding, weaving mess, and they take them off that fence out there this evening as Peter cuts low. Donnie cuts high, and Pat moves to the top of the turn. Well, this time, they're going to be changing the pattern just a little bit now. Pat Jackson and Donnie Brenneman are going to be placing their Dakota side by side, fender to fender, Cooper tire to Cooper tire. But Peter Gross will move on the backside of Pat Jackson over the first ramp elevation. He'll then change positions in the center section of the racetrack and lock up behind Donnie Brenneman out here tonight. So close together that you'll be able to throw a blanket over all three drivers. Here they come and one unit, they roll, it's up over, down, closing, Peter takes it across, and they take him, easy, does it, in the top of the turn out there tonight once again. Well, this time when they return, they're going to be attempting the crossovers once again on the flat surface of the racetrack, only while picking up speed and power. They're going to be increasing the momentum once again by five miles an hour. Here they come out of the top. Pat Jackson, 26 years. Peter Gross, 35. And Donnie Bredeman caught right in between with poor Cookie. Went to that truck out here tonight. They slide in between ramp elevation number one. Once again, they take them on the bumpers between number two. And that dangerous third crossover, they take it through once again. Well, this time when they return, you've seen the crossovers on the flat surface of the race track. This time, it's crossovers again, but while negotiating ramp structures, while driving upon but two wheels, while holding and maintaining that most unorthodox position, they're going to attempt the crossovers one more time. Look out now. They take them out of the top. They close it up. Speed and power being applied. Donnie Low, Pat High. Look out, Peter. They take it. Out of eighth on the second one, and they grind them once again, and we've got got Dakotas throwing dirt and dust and debris all over the racetrack out here tonight. Well, after that grueling ordeal of man and machine, I'm going to be bringing them back. They're going to spin them around. They're going to park them one, two, three on the fence. They're going to step out on the firmness of the racetrack tonight. But this is your part of the show. Remember, if you want to see them pour it on, if you want to see them go all the way, if you want to see them rip all this equipment up tonight, let's give them an Ashland welcome back for Pat, Danny, and Pete, and there they are. Man, what a wild time out here tonight with the Beach Nut Precision Driving Team. And Cookie, wait a minute, you're throwing rocks and debris at all this equipment out here. Donnie Brenneman, the gentleman in the number seven, what, what's the matter with you? He tried to kill you. Donnie, did you try to kill him out here tonight? What was he doing, Cookie? Trying to push me out the door. Tried to push you out the door. Well, how come he didn't fall out? 
You had a hold of the steering wheel. Well, maybe that uh, caused for some of Donnie's gyrations over the ramp elevations out here tonight. Yeah. But right now, Cookie, you better get out of the way because we're going to be calling upon Johnny Anderson and Donnie Brenneman, our elite fleet of motorcycle dare. Excuse me. Cookie, wait, you're not going for a ride. Get off that. Get, wait a minute. Get him off there, Donnie. Get him off that motorcycle. You don't understand, Cookie. Those are performance motorcycles. You can't use his either. No, it takes quality and skill. They're wearing the Bell Moto 4 helmets for safety, Cookie. Watch it. That motorcycle has two wheels. Count them. One, two. It's not enough. Well, the Beach Nut Dakotas have four wheels. One, two, three, four. You need three. They don't build a motorcycle with three or a Dodge Dakota with three. No. You'll go get your own. Have a nice night. Well, right now, we're going to be calling upon Johnny Anderson as Johnny's going to once again take you to the television series Miami Vice. We're on the third episode. They took a motorcycle, drove it off the side of a road through a flaming, burning building. Well, I got with your fair board here this afternoon, and they couldn't provide us with a burning building. So instead, we've supplied our own heavy timbered structure. We're going to be saturating this timbered structure with gallons upon gallons of shell gasoline. Well, upon that one signal of flame and fire tonight, it will become a raging inferno of fire for the flaming, fiery motorcycle boardwalk crash. He ignites the wall. The flames leap high. Johnny's up. Through, down, and flames, boards, and fire fly in all directions out here this evening as our motorcycle rider is safely through on that one. Nonetheless, worse for wear, we're going to be bringing him back. He's going to bring that motorcycle in for a quick breaking, grinding halt from Decatur, Indiana. Let's have a nice round of applause for Johnny Anderson. Johnny Anderson from Decatur, Indiana. Right now, John Anderson is going to be joined with fellow motorcycle rider Donnie Brenneman as they're going to be practicing up just a little bit, getting a feel of the racetrack, as they're going to be attempting a little wheelie exhibition for you folks here this evening. Well, Johnny will take off his leather jacket as it does confine him but a bit. Donnie's warming up his XT600 Yamaha. As these two gentlemen moved out to the racetrack, they look to the left, they look to the right, Donnie, Johnny, if you're set and ready, let's take him off to the top of the turd. Johnny Anderson from Decatur, Indiana, and Donnie Brenneman from Austin, Texas, as they go to the top of the racetrack out here tonight, as our ramp attendants quickly remove the ramp elevations from the racetrack. How are they going to be moving? A little wheelie exhibition out here tonight, practicing up for some upcoming events coming up in this evening's show. Now, Donnie Brenneman, his international trick and fancy riding motorcycle expert, will be telling you a little bit about that later on in the show. Donnie Brenneman and Johnny Anderson is three-time Indiana motocross champion. Here he comes out of the top of the turn. Johnny Anderson first power boarding. That motorcycle up on that back wheel, holding it down in front of the grandstand. Oh! The way into turn number four out here tonight. Man, they're getting warmed up. Here comes Donnie. He pulls it back, 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 balancing, maintaining the balance. Way down through the fire, down the center section of the racetrack into the top of turn number four here this evening. Here comes Johnny Anderson back. Look what he's doing now. He's on the high side. It looks like he's standing out of the back of that motorcycle as his uniform flutters in a wind out there tonight. Young Johnny Anderson takes it all the way down to the top of the turn and setting it down in the top of turn number one. Here comes Donnie right behind him out here tonight. Donnie Pediment from Austin, Texas. Oh, with one hand, a kneeling Willie out there tonight. And